What's the importance of internal speaker wire? Well, if you didn't have any speaker wire, <laughs> you wouldn't have any. You wouldn't have any drivers uh, playing anything. Okay, uh, I'm sure that's not what he meant. So this comes from Steve in Wenham, Massachusetts, and Steve writes to me, "Hey, Paul, I recently discovered your videos. Thank you, sir. I learned more in the last month than ever. Now that makes me happy because that's why I do these. Uh, thank you. Uh, you're very welcome." I was very surprised to find the interior wiring to all the drivers inside of my loudspeaker looked to be 20 or 22 gauge wire. I was appalled, actually. What are your thoughts on this? Should I rewire both speakers? Oh yeah, absolutely. I have never quite understood this. When, when Arnie Nudell and I owned Genesis loudspeakers, we went to a great deal of trouble to use not only heavy gauge wire, which, which, you know, you need to be using, no, oh, I don't know, 14 gauge at least, 12, 10, you know, whatever, you, you know, whatever makes sense. And good wire, not just crap zip cord. You want to use uh, high quality uh, wire. We used, at the time, I think we used Cardis, and Cardis is a great manufacturer of wire. And as PS Audio begins building loudspeakers, you can bet your bippy haven't heard that for a while, have you? You can bet your bippy that inside will be the proper gauge, proper construction, oxygen-free copper wire, because it makes a difference. And I, I'm with you. I don't understand. Every speaker I take apart, I, I, I exaggerate, many speakers I take apart, most speakers I take apart, have skinny, crappy wiring as if it didn't matter. And have I done experiments to see if it really makes a difference? No, I haven't. But I couldn't bring myself to do that. We spend all this time and money getting great speaker cables, you know, these big, uh, expensive, hefty fire hoses to feed our speakers, and then it goes into little weenie wires. And, and maybe it doesn't make any difference, but that's offensive to me. That, is, that offends me, and I don't like that. I don't do it inside of our equipment. Um, I, I just think that one has to have a bit of pride and you can't tell people to hook up great speaker cable and truly believe in your heart that it matters, which I do, and it does, and then weenie out on your little thin wires inside of your speakers like most manufacturers do, and I simply do not understand it. So since I don't speak on behalf of most speaker manufacturers, I can't tell you why they do it. But absolutely, get the best cables you can. Cardis makes some great wires. There's a number of uh, Blue Jean cables, I think, makes really good wire. That, and find, you know, just about anything is going to be better than what they have in there. So, yeah, go for it, man. Do it. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.